Police are looking for this black Honda in the death of a three-year-old girl in Kensington. A memorial for the child is growing as police are investigating whether street racing is to blame. The little girl was rushed to St. Christopher's Hospital where she was pronounced dead. Hello everyone, I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Nicole Brewer. Jessica Dean is off tonight. Now that crash happened at 2nd and York Streets around 7.15 last night. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O oh is live in Kensington with the latest from police. Anita? Well, Yuki and Nicole, apparently one of the families involved in this crash had been on their way to church just a few blocks away, according to a family friend. And now this family is reeling from the loss of their three-year-old daughter. It's senseless. Candles and stuffed animals sit on the corner of 2nd and York Streets in Kensington, honoring an innocent life lost. It's just so tragic that it had to be like this, you know, with a child. It's the aftermath of a multi-car crash Monday night and street racing may be to blame. We see it all the time, people racing up and down the street. Police say around 715, two cars were speeding down the 2400 block of North 2nd Street. At the intersection of York Street, one of the cars driven by a 17-year-old boy crashed into a 2012 Honda Civic carrying three people, including a toddler. Spins out and hits the light pole. Police say the impact ejected three-year-old Esther Palmer from a back window. The police say they were told she was buckled into a car seat at the time. The toddler later died at St. Christopher's Hospital, and her grandmother remains in critical but stable condition at Temple University Hospital. They want to speak, stay home, and play Xbox, you know? Like, why are they going to endanger other people. A Chevy Impala parked nearby also suffered damage, but police say the other car involved in the crash fled the scene. And so far, police are still looking for that late 90s model black Honda Accord. They say it should have severe damage to the driver's side of the car. Anyone with information is asked to contact police. Meantime, coming up at 6, why neighbors say this entire tragedy could have been prevented. But for now, we're live in Kensington. Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Anita, thank you.